so it's Valentine's coming up and obviously we all need something for our significant other, a husband, our friends, co-workers, people from school, you name it. We need something. <coughs> I think I'm going to bring in my trimmer. The designer series paper that I'm using this evening is the Painted with Love. It is beautiful. It's got gold. It's got... um. Calypso Coral, Bermuda Bay, uh, Fresh Fig, I think, or Rich Razzleberry. Rich Razzleberry. But it's just beautiful paper, you guys. If, like, this, I want to say, is probably one of my favorite papers that Stampin' Up! has. It is stunning. Like, my camera does no justice to this paper. It's beautiful. So, <coughs> excuse me. Where is my trimmer? Alright, so I have my Simply Scored board. I have some designer series paper. And this designer series paper is cut at 4 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 eighths. And we're going to do some scoring. And we are going to score... Because we want the designer series paper running in a specific direction, we're going to score it with the um, four and, what is that, four and seven eighths along the top. So we're going to score this at one and an eighth. So we're going to score at We're going to score at one and an eighth, and we're going to score at one and three quarters. One and three quarters. And that is going to go into our little box piece that we just made. So that's going to slot in just like so giving it that cassette tape feel, if you will, okay? So I I have some Velcro, Velcro strips that I got at Walmart when I was visiting my family because we don't have Walmart nearby us, and I'm going to slot that in. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I cut one of the little squares. I just cut it in half. And I am going to attach it to the designer series paper. And then I'm going to peel this backing off. And I'm now going to get it to attach to the box. Okay. Ooh. So that didn't work too well. Let's try that again. Okay, so now that I have it on my designer series paper and my box, we can go ahead and we can start stuffing our little box. I've got some ready shreds or whatever you call this stuff, ready shreds. I'm going to stuff it into my box like so. And this is great, like if you have somebody or a class member or somebody you want to give something to. This is fabulous for that. I got some candy that I grabbed at the dollar store. And these are heart-shaped, we call them suckers. Yeah, in America, they're lollipops. But uh, So you're going to shove one in there. And then you're just going to start adding your candy. And again, I got these at the dollar store and it's just little heart-shaped candies. But they, they just went so perfectly with this project. So I'm just going to start shoving them in there. Now again, you're going to adjust your shreds, so if you have too much shred, you're going to take shred out, 
and you're just going to add your little candies I do have some of that designer series paper and I have a heart shaped punch now you can use the sweet and sassy framelits and just um, die cut some heart shapes and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them in the box over there so when the recipient pulls all this out they have some little heart shapes in there too and I'm just now going to attach that so inside we got all our treats pull that out it's too much and yeah how cute super cute you guys but we need a card to go along with that so I am going to make a card to accompany the little box and the little treats I need to get some whisper white cardstock So I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter and we are just going to fold that in half. I have some Melon Mambo and this is cut at three and a half by four and a half. I have a piece of Powder Pink and this is cut at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. I have a piece of designer series paper and this is cut at three inches by two and three quarters. And then I went ahead and I die cut out some little circles over here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to stamp with my melon mumbo ink. I'm gonna stamp my Valentine on this little whisper white circle. And now I'm going to attach this to my Calypso Coral piece. And this piece measures, the scalloped circle is like two and an eighth. And then the Whisper White circle is two and three quarters. And I'm going to attach the two using some snail. And just center it up. I'm now going to attach some snail behind here because I want to add some gold metallic thread. And I have my gold metallic thread and I'm just going to pull some out and I am going to kind of put it behind my scalloped circle. And that is just going to give my little focal point some dimension, some pop, and it just looks awesome. Okay, looks cool. We're going to snip that off. So we have that. Ooh, I don't want this to stick to my surface. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to attach my designer series paper to my powder pink. Now this is the shimmery ribbon that you can earn free with a qualifying order and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach some so it can hold in the back. All right, let me just move it up. I'm going to cut this off. I'm actually cheating right now is what I'm doing because I cannot tie a bow. I have a hard time with bows. 
And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this piece And I'm going heavy on the glue because I don't want this to come off. And I'm now going to attach it to my Bermuda Bay. Like so. I've now got my focal image. And I'm going to attach that with some dimensionals. Just to pop it off the page a little bit. So I'm just pulling this off. And I am going to attach that on the side. And then I'm going to attach that to my Whisper White piece. In the middle. Now you can leave it just like that or you can tie yourself a little bow and what you're going to do is the bunny ears. Now I suck at bow tying so I find it's hard for me to do bows because I'm so bad at them. And then you're just going to cut this away. You're going to take your bow, you're going to take your glue dots, and you are going to attach your bow right there like so. And you have it, a beautiful card to match your little cassette tape. So I hope everybody loved tonight's project. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And I hope everybody has a wonderful night. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Take care.